Hey everyone, this is Zenort. Today I'm going to be talking about investing in your community and uh, starting a ball python collection. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, I'm going to talk to you about uh, ball pythons today and, and about starting a collection. So <clears throat> I've talked to a lot of people in this community and people starting out and they get very discouraged uh, because they see people like Justin Kaboka and uh, Billy Rose and they have these $10,000 snakes and uh, they have uh, triple recessive, double recessive and uh, you know you, you have probably in your collection maybe you have a head, uh, maybe a visual. Um, but you know these people have worked really hard to get where they are and it took them time. I mean, I guarantee uh, it took them years and years. Um, I see lots of people actually, you know, uh, get out of the business, uh, you know, of raising reptiles because they they don't, you know, it don't grow fast enough for them. And <clears throat> if you really enjoy, you know, reptiles like I do, there <clears throat> it takes time, and you know, you just got to work towards it and dig dig your heels in and, and keep on going. Um, so many people just get so discouraged because they want to be point A to point B super fast. And I guarantee that no one successful in this you know, field is, is just got it overnight. It's something they had to work towards. Um, so what I'm telling you is, is, you know, just take your time. When you, I mean, when I first started out, I had a, um, a normal uh, spider and a bumblebee, which is a spider pastel. You know, and I've worked myself up. I do have some snakes that are probably worth two to three thousand, uh, maybe even four thousand dollars. But you know, I had to work hard to get those, and I had to you know breed them up and or or pay for them. Um, but you know, it didn't happen overnight. Um, people people get so discouraged so fast, you know, because they see they have this vision. But you know, you know, it's something that you shouldn't be. You know, you shouldn't just think it's going to happen overnight. It's something that you. You should enjoy working towards. You know, a lot of times the, the best part is the, the journey there. I mean, um, I I love what I do. I um, mean, I am an animal nut. I have about every animal you can think of in this house. Um, the reason why I really chose reptiles, though, is because people uh, think they're gross, nasty, you know, and I, I want to prove them wrong. Um, they're neat pets. They're, they're wonderful pets. They make just as good as pets as dogs and cats and, and birds. Um... But they get such a bad rap. I mean, today they're getting way better than they used to be. When I was a kid, people were like, oh my God, you have reptiles? How disgusting. Um, now they're actually people that, you know, it's going to be your community. But, you know, this this community, there, there's so much, there's so many people, you know, uh, that are willing to help you. Um, there is people that don't want to help you. Um, but a lot of the new community want to help you and want you to, you know, get to be uh, successful. Because the more people that are successful in this, the more people that are, you know, people are interested in... Um, and breeding and also uh, having them as pets. But your your job as a breeder, though, you should be able. You should try to get people interested in this into this, um, and you know, be part of this community. That's my goal: is to let people know how wonderful these animals are. Um, and the great thing about starting out with uh, low end animals is that if you do make a mistake, I don't want nothing to happen to these animals. But you know, you're out less money than you would be if you had a ten thousand dollar snake or an eight thousand dollar snake um mistakes are made um we are human we're not perfect um so far knock on wood i nothing's happened to any of mine uh, all the years i've done it um but you know i know things happen they get egg bound they get sick you know um people make mistakes but the great thing is is when you start out like with you know a lower end snake you, you don't lose thousands and thousands of dollars on a on a on mistake I mean, you do lose a, a beloved pet, but <clears throat> you didn't wipe yourself out financially. Um, just enjoy the climb. Enjoy, uh, you know, every day when you do this, knowing that you're going to be better. Um, that's all I can tell you. Um, I am by no means any professional, um, but I, you know, I am a breeder and, and I enjoy what I do. Um, I can't imagine myself doing anything else because I, I enjoy this. I mean, it makes me happy. I, I mean, most people think it's crazy, but I get excited putting gloves on and and digging out uh, 
ball python poop, you know, and cleaning up my cages and checking on them and, and weighing them and saying, oh, wow, this one's going to breed this year. Um, I mean, I guess it's almost like a, a sickness with people that <laughs> that like reptiles. I mean, it, it starts out with one. Next thing you know, you have 20, 40. It just seems like almost like an addiction. Um, but anyways, um, just just enjoy it. And uh, if you have any questions or anything for me, just uh, shoot me uh, a comment below. Um, I'd love to talk to you about it. Um, that's why I like YouTube. It's uh, You can just sit here and I can relax and have a conversation with you. I can say what I want. I mean, obviously, I can't curse and I can't <laughs> uh, be vulgar, but I can, you know, just sit here, relax, and tell you how I feel about, you know, animals, how I feel about what I do, you know, and and I, I can tell you all the mistakes I've made and and help you out, you know, um, if you have any questions for me. I mean, especially if those who are, uh, you know, starting out. I mean, obviously, I have questions for people that's been doing it longer than me, like Billy Rose and them. I actually talked to him and. You know, he helps me out with questions, you know. But, I mean, if you have any questions or any, you know, things, just give me a, give me a heads up um, in the comments below and I'll, I'll definitely answer them. Anyways, thank you so much to, uh, for spending time with me and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.